everyone. Welcome to Angel Healing House Radio. My name is Claire Candy Hoff. Through my business, Angel Healing House, which can be found at angelhealinghouse.com. I'm a writer and an author, an international radio host, a Reiki master teacher, and an angel practitioner. My inspirational books entitled Angels of Faith and One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness and my autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, are based on my recollections of our life in spirit and they help us to remember our divine, eternal natures. Through Angel Healing House, I help people to let go of sadness, anger, bitterness, resentment, and regret that has kept them locked in the prison of the past, and I help them to let go of worry, stress, and control, which has kept them focused on an imagined future. And once they are no longer living in the past or the future, they can start to live in the present moment, which is the only place that they can experience synchronicities, miracles, and magic. As an angel practitioner, I help people to see their lives from a higher perspective with the help of an extraordinary group of angels who call themselves the Posse of Angels. Just like my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, I'm very excited to take some of your calls for that free angel advice. You can call into the show on 1-800-930-2819. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Angel Healing House Radio. You know, as we've started this brand new year of 2020, we sure had a lot of things energetically to contend with. There were so many highly charged uh, planetary actions that I just have to ask everyone, how are you feeling? We had a very powerful full moon this past Friday, and that one was in Cancer, um, and that one was also accompanied by an eclipse. I don't know about you, but a few days before a full moon, I always feel like a crushed cabbage when I wake up. It's like the moon's energies have squashed me, and with this one being um, accompanied by the eclipse energies, well, I've heard from many people that they were more teary, they were more emotional, and more sensitive. Eclipses are about bringing forth fate, about illuminating and revealing those things that have been hidden. And if that wasn't enough, this past Sunday, two days ago on the 12th, we experienced what so many different astrologers were speaking about the long-awaited Saturn and Pluto conjunction in the sign of Capricorn. Now, with Capricorn being the sign of getting things done, (laughs) we might have felt that uh, we were more antsy. We might have felt like we were apprehensive, like we had to make something happen. The alignment of these two planets in Capricorn was something that no one alive has ever experienced or will experience again in their lifetime. Now, the combination of Pluto's energies of purging, along with Saturn's karmic day of reckoning energies, well, it was quite a soup. It was so rare, it created a ripple of energy that will be transformative. Their reunion opened up a portal of energy that will be changing our lives in the weeks and the months ahead of us. And the posse of angels are saying it's what's coming in for so many of us is no less than our karma, our fate, and our destiny all rolled into one. And the posse of angels is saying that they're not exaggerating about the arrival of our soul's calling. But my angelic family, the posse of angels, is assuring us that there's nothing, even with these Capricorn energies, that there is nothing that we can do to hasten our new life happening. And it would be best just to chill and relax as what is coming in for us is fated. You won't miss it. 
it will arrive in divine timing. Now, the posse of angels wish to confirm that they have been working their little tails off. <laughs> They've been working overtime to bring just the right connections and opportunities in order to A, answer the longing to, to in your heart to do what you love doing, and B, it will match or exceed how much focus and attention and energy that you've put into a passion, a dream, a wish, or an intention. Now, on the subject of what will come next, which is exciting for many of us, the Positive Angels is sharing to stop trying to force and to figure this out because spirit has already figured this out for you. We may not have realized it, but what we will be manifesting is what we have unconsciously been preparing for since we woke up to live a conscious life. And a lot of us may not even have even realized that. And the fulfillment of your destiny might be very different from what you've been doing up until now. But don't panic, as the Posse of Angels is, is assuring all of us that we will have all the gifts, the talents, the abilities, and the skills to be able to do it. You know, we might have to learn a few new things. We might have to get up to speed. But they are assuring us, since it's our soul's destiny, we will be a champion at it for it is divinely ordered for us to step into this. This is an answer to a calling or a mission of ours, even though you may not have been aware that you wrote this into your contract to experience in this lifetime. Now, please know full well that what will be manifesting for us is uh, it's contracted. We did this in order to be of highest service to the planet, and it will set us on the road for a new beginning and a fresh start. Uh, one like you've never experienced before. This is because we are absolutely not the same people that we were before. And as such, we now allow ourselves to live our fullest potential, and we're clear to serve in the highest way possible. Now, the Posse of Angels is saying that these new energies will support those who focus on passionately creating a life filled with what they love doing and creating what they are passionate about and being of service to others. Now, I've mentioned this before. It goes beyond a personal gain. It's something that we will be doing that will be affecting humanity. The Posse of Angels is reiterating that this may be something that you never even considered doing before. And for those who may be a little apprehensive about starting a new life, especially stepping into something which you may have not done before, consider the road that you've traveled on to get to where you find yourself today. When we look through a lens to our previous 10 years, many of us went through things like Divorces, financial hardships, health issues, the loss of loved ones, estrangement by our children, a crisis of being stripped bare of everything that we knew ourselves and the world around us to be, and we did this in order to find our authentic true selves. We may not have known it at the time, but each one of us was on our own hero's journey, and today, we find ourselves coming full circle to where we started, which is always with the self. But this time, we are irrevocably changed to now living a life of truth. Compared to the path that got us to this important new threshold, this new start, well, the Posse of Angels are assuring us that the next part of the journey will be so much smoother than we anticipate. Now, they are reminding us that by boldly and, and courageously taking inspired action in 2020, it'll be like 
<laughs> I like this image they're giving me. It's like going bowling with bumper guards. I don't know if any of you have went bowling with your children when they were young. And because they were not very strong to throw the ball down the, the lane, you put up the guards so that the ball would, would stay on the uh, straight and narrow. Um, and they want to assure us that they are so, we are so clear now to hear, to see, to perceive the signs from God and the angels, that this will keep us in play. And they're saying it will keep us out of the gutters. <laughs> well, the posse of angels wishes for me to share some things to make it easier for you to start your brand new life. First of all, please know that everything happens for your greatest good and the greatest good of all concerned. Therefore, I love that there are no mistakes and you cannot fail. Okay, I've done whole programs before on how you cannot fail. Please know that if you start taking steps towards something, and it's just plain hard, it's difficult, and aspects of it are blocked, then simply know that those signs are telling you that it's just not beneficial to pursue it either at that time or ever. When this happens, stop pushing, switch tracks, and go work on a creative project until you get a clear sign that it's time to move forward. This usually happens because we've gotten so sick and tired of waiting for an expectation of ours to be fulfilled that we try to force something to happen, which always ends in settling for less and compromise. Deeply know and never question that the universe has your back and will provide for you abundantly, as abundance is your nature. Now, please note, that the abundance may not be presented to you in the way that you conceive that it will show up, but it's presented to you in the best form that you need in order for your soul to grow. And ultimately, that's why we're here in human form. Deeply know that all prayers are answered, but not in your timing, in the best timing possible for your soul's growth, because ultimately, again, that's why we're here. And by consciously choosing every day on your path to your new start, keeping your vibration of joy, kindness, forgiveness, gratitude, appreciation, compassion, peace, keeping your vibrational frequency as high as you possibly can, then it truly doesn't matter what house you live in, what city or country or continent that you are led by spirit to live in, but what matters most is that by constantly experiencing a life of grace within yourself, you will then experience and manifest a life of grace in your external world and be at home wherever you are led by spirit. Now, the Posse of Angels is reminding us that many of us, and if you're listening to Angel Healing House Radio, it is a good indicator that you have entered into fifth dimensional living. And as such, we operate differently as our manifestations are answered through our heartfelt joy, our imagination, and inspiration. And what manifests in our new lives will be dictated by just how much we have the courage to be powerful, spiritual thought leaders and creators on the planet. And the way that all creative, co-creative manifestation happens now is by each one of us believing in ourselves and taking inspired action by creating. For it's in the passion and joyous energies of creating that will bring us the opportunities to support and to promote those creations. You know, I've heard from so many of my clients when they see that I'm an author, they have an idea for the book their own book, but they haven't written it. So whether it's a book within you that is aching to come forth or an inspirational feeling to work in TV, maybe creating your own business, creating your own radio show, inventing a new app, writing a song, a screenplay, making a film, each one of us has been endowed with unique gifts. And we have this yearning it's like this, this little voice inside of us yearning and calling within us. Actually, we can easily see when people are fulfilling 
their gifts and talents as they exude an enthusiasm. It's an excited passion and pleasure for life that goes way beyond their ego, money, fame, or success. By abundantly honoring and bringing forth that creative seed you co-created with God to plant in your soul, and then the universe then returns more abundance to be able to keep focusing on those gifts within you. In this way, many people have found a way to get paid for doing something that they absolutely love doing. And for all of you out there who say that you're not good enough to be successful and you're afraid of failing, the Posse of Angels is reminding all of us that the real failure comes when we hold ourselves back and we never attempt to fly with the wings that God gave us. You know, God never gives us anything that we can't do. And if he or she has seeded an urge, an inspiration in your soul, it means that we are being called to create and bring it forth. And that on the, on the other side of that courage to create always lies open doors, rewards, and miracles. I've seen it so many times in my life. So hold this past weekend's massive, life-changing, transformative planetary energies, not only in your mind, but your heart, as they take an effect on your new life. Ask the angels for signs and messages that they wish to share with you to clearly show you how to step forward. Remember, this will be your soul's destiny. And believe me, <clears throat> if you're watching this program, you will not miss it. You will be hit over the head with it. <laughs> but the Posse of Angels is reminding all of us to let go. Please do let go of what, our, what you thought your life should look like in order to open to limitless possibilities for the fulfillment of your dreams. Remember, starting all over again, starting anew, is only scary if you hold on to the belief and the illusion that starting afresh will perhaps bring compromise for you. We all did this in the past by settling for less than we so richly deserved. And think back, we compromised in our relationships our jobs, our careers, our peace of mind, our finances, our health choices. That is why it took us all such gosh darn long to clear and cleanse and heal ourselves back to who we authentically are today, back to our divine, eternal nature of purity and bliss. In fact, by holding only the highest of energies, for instance, energies of light, love, joy, kindness, compassion, unity, forgiveness, and peace, we will ensure that when those divinely ordered opportunities and connections are in perfect alignment to manifest in our lives, our highly charged light-filled frequencies will be the perfect match to those of heaven in order for the doors to open. Uh, the, the doors to our new lives to open for us. When we're starting anew, there are some things that you can do that can be extremely helpful. Firstly, with so many in the conscious collective moving in this year of 2020, when you do move, please sage your old place before leaving it because you want to bring all the energies experienced there into highest alignment, regardless of the things that you experienced in your home. While saging, thank your home for providing you with shelter and be grateful that you had a home. Bless the home and leave it with energies of gratitude, appreciation, and love. Now, secondly, before moving into your new home, sage your new home, bless it, fill it with light. Every home carries energies from the previous owners, and in order to bring those energies up to their highest possible frequency, it's important to consciously fill the space with light 
and love and with the intentions of whatever energies you wish to consciously experience in your new place. Wealth, prosperity, success, fun, laughter, these are all things you can intend uh, to experience in a new place. Go ahead, make your own list and set those intentions. The next thing that we can do to all to help us is, uh, it's not one of everyone's favorite, but clean your house and throw away clutter before you move somewhere else. Pete and I have moved so many times and we still have found things that we donated or gave away to others. This requires more organization, but I can assure you that by not moving clutter into a new home, you're setting the intention that life in your new place will be orderly, organized, free-flowing, unencumbered, and weighed down by stuff that you don't use anymore. And by doing so, one opens space to receive new things coming in. Buy plants for your new home, for the vibration of these living things will increase light-filled energies. Also, if you have crystals, clean them before taking them into your new home and place them around the house as they are high vibrational and living energies as well. You know, the more one can give sacredness to their actions when starting anew, Rather than focusing on uh, apprehension, fear, doubt, anxiety, worry, or limitation, then the more one will be blessed with the same sacred energies in the days, months, and even in the years ahead. And believe me, we are at such a point uh, as a collective consciousness that if we know we're in a co-creative dance with the divine, and if uh, we manifest an opportunity for ourselves to start anew, it's because um, God and the angels know that we can do this. We have all the wherewithal to be able to do it, and we just need to step forward in faith. And they just want to reiterate that every time you step forward in faith, on the other side of that is miracles. So to help us just in the last few minutes before we go to a break, um, to help us with the additional messages, I drew two cards from my spirit animal deck. And when I saw what they were, I absolutely laughed out loud. Firstly, the card that came slinking in was Mr. Cat. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Cat. He slinked in to alert us um, to be bold and unique and embrace our independent spirit. With its magical and fanciful nature, Cat is bolstering our self confidence and self assurance when we walk with dignity, willing to show the world who we are, trusting the value that we bring to the world, then the world will mirror back to us similar energies. Release everything that you thought you knew yourself to be and draw upon cat spirits, cunning, openness to magic and miracles. It's encouraging us to be more curious and not attached to how things should, there's that word, should work out. In this way, we open to the universe giving to us in absolutely limitless ways. Cat also helps to bring forth our desire for freedom and being flexible and adaptable. Don't be afraid to change up your routines and make new changes. Let your spirit roam free. Cat spirit is also reminding us that if things are not working out as they always did before, it's a pretty good indicator that wondrous and unexpected opportunities will be manifesting. And when you get that signal or sign to pounce, <laughs> cat spirit is assuring you that you will land on your feet as you are sure-footed and you can trust yourself now. And the next card, why I laughed, was dog spirit. <laughs> dog has come in today wagging his tail and he's reminding us that although change is part of life, it's our trusting, loving, committed nature that remains the same. And boy, as I mentioned before, many of us will go through unbelievable life changes this year. 
with dog being so much about love, spirit is reminding us that love will be arriving in so many forms with a new soul tribe family coming in to help and support us and our endeavors. And in addition, its message is to do what you love doing. Trust in yourself for now is a very fortuitous time of good fortune. By remaining steadfastly committed to what you love and to what you are passionate about, you will attract more love and passion into your life. (laughs) Dog is barking the reminder to please have faith in spirit's plan for you now. And it says, be loyal to what you love. And isn't that beautiful? That's a one card. One card are, are about leadership, are about new beginnings. And this one is four, is 13. Well, I don't know. 13 is the, the, the uh, very sacred number of the divine feminine. So let's just keep it at that with the magical and miraculous and mysterious cat. You've been listening to me, Claire Candy Hoff, on Angel Healing House Radio. We are going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we have Miami, we have Hollywood, and we have New York on the line. If you want to call in for a free angel reading, do call in on 1-800-930-2819. And myself and my wonderful family, the Posse of Angels, we would love to speak with you. So we'll see you after this quick break. you discovered the remarkable books at angelhealinghouse.com? Author Claire Candy Hoff has channeled rare books of inspiration and insight. Angels of Faith is an inspiring story of healing, comfort, and hope that reminds us that death is not to be feared, but embraced with joy. One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness takes readers on a roller coaster ride through Angel Ariel's five most important lives on Earth, as well as her experiences in the afterlife, and helps us remember our own journey across the veil. And Claire Candy's autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk In, which details the 2003 soul exchange that took place when Claire Candy walked out of her body and Angel Ariel walked in, creating heaven on Earth for herself and others. To find out more about these wonderful books, visit angelhealinghouse.com today. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Huff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716, or visit angelhealinghouse.com. everyone you're back with me claire candy hoff on angel healing house radio you know with all the planetary energies that have collided this past weekend i didn't mention the planet uranus that is has been in retrograde for the past five months and it's been in taurus with the energies of uranus being electric and packed with bringing in change It celebrates things like innovation, originality, and uniqueness. But Uranus does uh, shake things up in our lives in order for us to awaken to a new way of being. And with Uranus being in Taurus, we'll learn how to control the intense feelings that may arise. Uh, Now that it has the freedom to go forward after five months, it's kind of like a bull that has been kept in a pen for five months. And when it's finally allowed to be free, it may erupt like a tornado. Please, if you find yourself emotionally charged, be very careful with what you say or take a step back. With Uranus retrograde ending, we will be now entering a very fortuitous time. There are zero planets in retrograde. This remarkable period portends feeling for us that life will start flowing again. We'll be feeling re-energized. We will be feeling uh, renewed with increased clarity. Many will receive revelations and answers and will experience closures to many 
challenges and obstacles. And there's just a heads up here that on January 20th, the sun will move out of serious determined Capricorn. And we're about to enter a, a, another, um, not another, but um, an air sign, airy and light Aquarius. And we'll feel like there is a lightning, like there's a burst of fresh air especially after the heavy energies that we all just went through at the beginning of this month. Let's go to our first caller for those free angel readings. We have Laura from Miami. You're on the line with Claire Candy Hoff. How are you today, Laura? Um, hi, how are you? Um, I'm sorry well. about that. I can uh, so relate to uh, what you're talking about and uh, for the last show as well. Um, I am calling because I wanted to see if you had insights since I am in one of those uh, in-between uh, states, as you've been mentioning. And I like what I'm doing, but the uh, money is kind of gone. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, for so many of us, uh, it's uh, what we were doing before um, is just not cutting the mustard, as they said. Um, if it was, we would do it until the cows come home. But uh, it is past, it's past its use by date. And the reason for this is because you've done such a good job. You've done such a good job and, uh, and so many others on completing that part of your mission um, that we need to step into that next part. Um, and, it's, and it's during this in-between time that it's actually giving us time to... Um, to declutter our homes, declutter our bodies, to de de detox, uh, to create, you know, um, to, you know, do an outline for that book that, uh, that we've been wanting to write, you know, that idea that we've had, whatever that is, whenever we're in an in-between time, kind of like a Mercury retrograde, it's um, asking us, Laura, for us to um, find that creative spark within us because if we try to push what we've been doing before it's not going to work it's just not going to work because uh, it's like trying to push a round peg in a square hole um, and the more that we can just uh, release and bless what we did before and say you know been there done that it's time to move on um, and it just might not be the right time but it is coming um, but keep your energies high. That's what they're saying. Um, you know, know that you are in a collective boat with everyone else. You're in the same collective boat as everyone else. Um, and, uh, you know, never wish to have anybody else's life because that is their, uh, that's their spiritual journey. Uh, the first card that's coming out for you now is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is a card of balancing balancing finances. Um, and this is, this is where so many find us ourselves in the moment because quite frankly, our clients have dried up. Our, um, our, the ways that we were bringing money in before are, as I said, past the use by date. Um, know that you are abundant and know that you will have what you need. This is not necessarily what you want, this is you will have what you need. And they're saying to bless and to be grateful for what you have. And you are abundant and you will be given more. Nobody will be forgotten. You know, <laughs> I've had clients say, yeah, but this is all right for everybody else. But God forgot me. <laughs> and I said, no. I said, I said nobody will be left behind. Um, you know, we will all be given uh, exactly what we need for our next part of the journey. Um, and it's going to be more glorious than we can ever imagine. So that's a that's a very important card to come out. That balancing. Next card comes in is the Ace of Cups. Uh, this whatever this is coming in for you, um, it's going to be very fulfilling for your heart. Um, it's going to be. Uh, uh, they're saying that it's something that you love doing, uh, but you might not have been doing it in this form. It might take a totally different form, um, but you'll have all the skills and the abilities to be able to do it. Um, and this is a great indicator. Uh, we are, um, Venus uh, is going as of yesterday, Venus went into Pisces and Pisces is about water 
and things um, flowing. Um, um, and they're saying, this is a great time for us to be more compassionate and kind with ourselves. Um, so they, they're saying, Laura, please soften. Soften your heart oh. and put as, put, put as much time in nourishing and nurturing your beautiful heart into worrying, into worrying and stressing and doubting. They want you to know that spirit has your back. Spirit has your back. Um, and what is coming in for you is this feeling of justice, this feeling of, it may, might even see you signing a contract, um, somebody coming to you, um, liking the way that you do things, or, um, uh, you know, uh, they, they like a certain product that you have, or service, or something about you, um, and they want, uh, and I see some kind of contract being signed. And um, this is an 11 card, so it's really uh, stepping into your mastery. So I hope that's been helpful. Do not lose okay. your faith. Do not lose your faith. Okay. Um, and keep your vibrational frequency high. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Let's go to our next caller. We have Trish in Hollywood. Trish, you're on the line with Claire Candy Hoff. How are you today? Trish, are you there? Hello. Yes. Hi, Candy. It's Trish. Hi, Trish. How are you? I'm I'm doing well. Happy New Year to you. I um I listened to the whole show and. Before calling in, I, it's almost like you've somewhat answered my questions in a general way. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I feel like um, the angels have me in a cocoon of peace. It's like a peace that transcends understanding. Yeah. But um, I'm, I'm yeah. just wanting to, like, check in with, with you and them and get a progress report and get direction. I, I, I think I, I totally am aligned with everything you said, and I'm not quite sure if I'm supposed to be writing or going into music or maybe some ministry. It's like I'm trying to figure it all out. Okay. Um, don't try to figure it out. Feel into it. The first thing, <laughs> the, the first thing that you said, uh, uh, Trish, was that you, you're feeling wrapped in a cocoon of peace. And they want us to know that um, rather than by doing anything and trying to force something, we do so much when we allow ourselves to be at peace because we are part of all the other energies in the world. And when we are people in just this moment and grateful for what we have, we are doing so much more for the, for the uh, collective energies on and off the planet, every living thing, plants and animals and everything than we possibly can imagine. So that's why it's important uh, to stay in this, a cocoon of peace until you're told otherwise. Now, when you're in this cocoon of peace, I asked them about um, um, the writing and they said the music. There's something about the music. They want you to know that uh, they said someone in heaven, and we know who that is, is channeling music to you. I don't know if you feel this, I don't know if uh, uh, you've been open to this, but um, I do believe that Silver is trying to channel music to you. Have you felt anything like that? Um, yes, I've been working with her sister on her application for music school. So she's been recording and creating music. Mm -hmm. And I've been real, and I've been working with my friend Mary to kind of really how I feel and what parts of my body. And whenever I'm really working or thinking of music, it's like I really get all the chills in my thighs. Like I feel like it's more of a soul thing. And I, I just was kind of even thinking that on the way back, listening to music. Yes. Um, so I do feel that a little bit. Okay. 
So I don't know if you've composed music before. I don't know, but certainly this is coming through really, really strongly. Um, and because it feels so strong, it needs to come forth. And when we're doing what we love doing, then we will bring more of what we love doing into ourselves. Let me just go to the cards yeah. and see what comes out. But they're definitely saying. I think I, I was, I'm like a talent. I was like a, a producer, like I find talent and I bring people together to make music. Right. Okay. All right. Um, is it, is it that? Is it bringing people together? Is it writing the music? It could even be know, bringing, maybe... it could, it could even, uh, they're saying it feels like you're bringing people together and you're writing music with them. Yeah. Okay. 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 So don't discount any of this. Um, I don't know if you've done this before, but they're saying it's this latent energy that is just longing to come out of you. And when you open up to it, and really fully release it and let it just flow out of you, you're going to be surprised um, how easy this is going to flow. It's not going to be difficult at all. I've never written songs before, but that's what we're trying to do. And I'm, I just connected Pearl with a songwriter and he's coming to town on the 20th. <laughs> Perfect. Now, I did shuffle the cards, and the first card that's coming out for you is the Ace of Cups. Now, they're, they're saying that, um, yes, is to continue to bring those songwriters together, you know, as a producer, um, because uh, although you've done that in the past, they said that it's going to be done in a, in a, a different way. It's going to be done in a new way. I'm not sure what they're pointing at there, but they're saying certainly with your input as far as the music, um, it'll be uh, it'll it'll be a more they're saying organic way um, that you're not just bringing people together, but you're helping with the writing. And this is a new flowing way of of uh, of answering your soul's calling. The next card that's coming out for you is, is the brand new start. This is the fool. Um, the fool card is anything but a fool, but the fool card is that, um, that little child inside of us that's wiggling with excitement. And we don't know why we're wiggling with excitement, but all I can tell you is that if we follow that childlike exuberance to write the music, um, uh, then it will take you. It will take you to places that you can't even imagine. And then the next card coming out for you is the sun card. This is an amazing, an amazing three card um, uh, read because the sun card is all about illumination. So with you writing the music um, and then um, collaborating, because 2020 is a year of collaboration. That's what it is. We're, co we're connecting and collaborating with others for the greatest good of the whole. Um, and then it's, this is going to illuminate other things for you to do. Um, massive, massive, beautiful energies. Um, you, got, you got three, well, basically you got three ones. An ace is a one. The full card, although it's a zero card in tarot, is the start of the tarot, which I always consider a one. And you got the 19 card, which, you know, that the sun one. card <laughs> is the be most beautiful card in the deck. I mean, it's just uh, illuminating, um, you know, and shining a light on on what is uh, what is your soul's radiance. And this is the writing. So I hope that's been helpful for you, Trish. Yes, it has. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for you, Candy. God bless you. God bless you, sweetheart. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you for calling in, Trish, from Hollywood. We have had Miami. Now we have Hollywood. Now we're having uh, another Laura. We have another Laura from Toronto. Hi, Laura from Toronto. You're on the line with Claire Candy Hoff. How are you? Laura from Toronto. Can oh, you hi. hear me? Oh, hi. Oh, How yes, are you? I can hear you. I'm sorry. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm uh, very. Oh, 
<laughs> Very well. Yes, we had two Laura, Lauras today. The other one was from Miami. How are you? Yes, I'm doing well, thank you. I am. Um, I love listening to your show, and I'm glad I got an opportunity to call in. Good. What's happening in your um, life? Well, I'm kind of like, um, I'm in a transitional point of, um, I've been doing the same uh, work for 15 years. Uh, I feel like it was part of my calling, but mm -hmm. I want to branch off and really do my passion and step out of that mm -hmm. and and do like my own business, right? So. It's like leaving the security of a job that I've had for 15 years and stepping into another whole different area. Right, right. Well, you know, the posse of angels and all the in the all the years uh, and eons of decades that we and and through time that we have been together, uh, they would never tell anybody, Laura, to leave their job to. Um, you know, because we we all need to put a roof over our heads in the physical. Oh in yeah, our physical, you know, I'm not going to leave my job. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I'm not going to so. leave my job. I'm not going to leave it until I know that this other, you know, thing actually picks up and takes off, and then oh, then I'll right. do like a gradual. Right, but they are one. I, I they, yeah, they are oh, wanting. Sorry, you, I was going to say that they they really want you to know that. The more that you can, um, the more time that you can put into this business, uh, the more time you can, um, you know, uh, put your creativity and and see it as thriving and all of that. Because our security comes from God; it really does not come from a job. Um, and, exactly. And, and the more that we know this, then the more we create. Um, and when we create through our hearts, um, then true miracles happen. So that you're already on that uh, on that trajectory that you've already started um, a business, um, but they um, they want you to uh, they want you to be fully you know fully committed and creative as far as uh, you know um, uh, investing invest investing emotionally and uh, in, in, into this business. Um, and then after a while, and when the business starts to take off, because it's that high vibrational frequency that speaks the same abundant uh, language as uh, the universe, um, then our avocation, what we love doing, then becomes our vocation. And then we can let go of the... Um, of, of the job that we did before. Now, there are some people, I'm not saying this is um, you, but there are some people that need to break away from a job and show the faith, and especially if it's, it's a compromise, if it's settling for less, especially if, uh, if it makes us feel awful, because by remaining in that job, we are just uh, stopping the flow of energy coming into us. So I know in each each uh, individual is different, um, but they really want you to um, put your creative efforts into this business um, and uh, and see it, see it thriving, and see it providing for you in all kinds of ways. You know, sometimes people create a business and they think it's. Uh, specifically for a monetary gain and then what they who they meet through that business and the connections that they make are so exponentially much greater than they possibly could ever imagine so the first card that's coming out for you is the page of pentacles uh, the page of pentacles is messages around money um, m um, messages coming in um, about uh, um, well, they're saying about how you, how you can foster and uh, and to develop this business. Um, are you doing this by yourself? Or are you doing this with others? Well, right now um, it's kind of on my own. Um, I do energy work myself, and I I've been doing like kind of angel card readings for friends and family for a long time now. 
mm-hmm. and um and mediumship and stuff. But and so now I was like I wanna step out and do what I really like I really love it so much that I wanna just do it all the time. Right. Um there is one of other, one other person that has kind of been my mentor and teacher and her her dharma is Tantra. Mm-hmm. Um and like there might be possibilities of collaborating with her down the road, but right now it's kind of just myself. Okay. So what they're saying is that in the, in this year of collaboration and connecting with others, the sum of the parts exponentially becomes greater than the whole. Um, they're saying be open to receiving these messages of how you can um, add to and create this business of yours. Um, and, uh, and you might be doing it in ways that you haven't done it before or in avenues or, or locations or things like that. But, um, and they said that you might be writing a book with somebody. I don't know if you've ever considered that. Um, because the next card that comes out for you is the partnership card. You know, we were speaking oh, about wow. con- connecting and collaborating. Um, do you have an idea for a book? Um, I actually have been, I have a bit of an idea of, of, a, of a book. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's, yeah, I do have an idea. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Like, no, that's okay. That's think. okay. Now they're saying they're saying that um, this collaboration in your business, um, maybe we're getting an inkling of it now, but they're saying that they want you to develop the book. They want you to start writing it, to start considering it, to start outlining it or whatever. And it's this energy, this excited energy of opening up that beautiful channel of yours and bringing forth the book that's already been written. I mean, there it is in heaven. It's just above your head. It's already been written. <laughs> so by you by you opening up to bring this forth on the earth plane, that there's somebody else that's either going to be, contri- going to be contributing to this book. It may be that, uh, that person that you spoke about. But um, the energy, certainly, the collaborative um, energy, certainly, uh, with you and spirit will be opening other doors. So they're saying... They're just reiterating the creativity that I was speaking about um, all along. And the last card you get is the, one of my favorite cards is that nine of pentacles. You know, she she is rich. She is abundant. Um, You know, so many of us have come to the end of what we were doing before. And now we're going to be stepping into our real wealth um, where we're going to be provided for um, in ways that we can't ever possibly imagine. Uh, For the past year, if not longer, on my radio programs, I've been speaking about the karmic compensation for those light workers that we went through divorce, we went through financial hardship, we went through... I, I mean, you. I mean, I, I. I can put my hand up for every. You know, illnesses. We. You know, estrangement of children. You name it. We went through it, and yeah. and we still and we still held the light for the planet, and now and now comes the karmic compensation. So I don't know about you, sweetheart, but I. Oh am yeah, really- amen. I take that. <laughs> I am wiggling with excitement. I I feel yeah. I feel Laura from Toronto. I feel like I have a kindred soul <laughs> in you that uh, that we've been there, we've done that, and then I am you know we're so open. But yes, please, please, please write the book, and then uh, and then call in your angels to show you how you can collaborate more, and then and then your business will take off in ways that you can't possibly imagine so i hope that's been helpful oh thank you god bless you that was wonderful thank you (laughs) take care sweetheart have a beautiful day bye-bye thank you too bye-bye bye and that just about wraps the show up for today thank you to all my callers thank you to everybody who's listening around the world remember um angel healing house airs every week at 9 a.m pacific standard time on transformation talk radio and if you're interested in my beautiful books you can go to my website which is www 
angelhealinghouse.com. And then we have One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness. The sequel to it is I Am an Angelic Walk-In. And don't forget the beautiful Angels of Faith. Also, those two novels are available on audible.com as a download. Everyone, remember to fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself. I'm wishing you love and angel blessings. And I look forward to speaking with you again next week. Take care, everyone. Bye.